Hakasni Ningong Jogatayo, Kata Haka Kanyo to Rikunaitum, Kipai Bak Leng Saudong Jogajilla, Batkari, Pijutiba, Juraki, Kalunku Sniap Jung Klawatari, Upa in Pirot Sings Imli, Ubala Lenla Di, Bat Ula IT, Nakabanta Kapateng, Bat Kajai Pendri. Kumta Hakanika Sniru Kumju, Nakalyang Usim, Parkador Bar Jaka Himano Klau, Kilaraki Kerpang, Yakanika Sni, Hakajinga Lang, Kabakun Long, Hapo Mot Pirot Mairang Mission, Hakaba Umidri Rangba Du Kajila, Kondar Kisangma, Ulalong Kumu Kong San, Harankar Kajinga Sandran Lang, UCM KKHADC, Uba Panyat Sings EM Kumu Sumbut Kong San, Nangta, Women Eka Mairang Hakaju Kapoor, U Chairman the State Planning Board, Uba Amen Baling Do. UMDC uba abat Cameron ta thyang ki officer na kitna tre kam pher pher kinong hikai ki khna school lambat ki wei pra sha khot snoba hagani ka sngi kum ka dak ban long ka jeng kan mau bu rom yo pa en tirat sing na ka liang menteri rang ba harangkat ki kenran ki lindan ki la yo ban ni pu sing teu ha umot tirat uba don ha ka snong mai rang mission Nasuban ay kumplekel pang yee. Kadi kasiyan ka bening kong yee ka bangon yoo yee kala bandon lang hatung kadi ka program ringkat balichip na sa juwi. Yee sa mga bindo ibalong ichaman jo kasiyan planning board government of Nigeria. Haju ko po ibalong ru. Kumi local MLA jo kadi ka mayroong konstitutsi. So buram tu ya kejengan lang tu iba baskem dan tatiang ni belum i local MDC chairman jo kan advisory committee jo kan KHDC ni don ni i XMDC ni kewek ki real power mah bah kumjo ru nasu ban cime ni kelak bah ay kumle kerpang ye i payen kena jo kehima non cloud Iban na kapor si kapor, bangya kendo hantay na po si long, bangya perkat ng tabun tikam, hakabi na ibat kajing yabet yarenti kajing trekam hapo kahimano klaw. Julong bakloy bangya don lang bani kung ka district council, bang pendit pendiang ni kajing don kam kibabun hapo kahimano. Kung leshi buon sa hisyen pa, hilakot sumha ingiru bangya don lang hakani ka program. Sosyal hanggang kasiap Bani i yaki Kliyek ng sinsya Diyong ki hima, diyong ki ilaka Bapero per Paim kena diyong ka hima khairim I paim ramba Diyong ka hima melim Paim diyong ka ilaka Sedat ilaka Nopo I paim diyong ka hima bohobal I lindo diyong ka Lenyong Bak kita boleh ki bakrau bateri ki bersyam hangi ki bangun lak banjir keting. Asyam yang kena kelat bang air kubli kerpang. Ya kiri, bagai jinjang ke jengki kelapan po penpen ya kene kerjilah. 
but nakalem kajami ni sotho bakum ka district council ni don kumba sangko south ni ki ilaka hapo ka jingpet jingkmi banbet banbiam ka sanshar ka khara bat ni i ka kum ki historical background ki bangi don ba ka hima nang khlaw ka de ka wei ka hima ka ba pao ba ya ka ba ka tanmi ya ni siem ba khlaw siem uba em ka kerteng ba sa ka nam hadu ki ni gisni ba ki pateng ka ba menta ita ide pa em tirot sing siem wat na ni la rakhi ya ka ling khu siya ka ba shis pa pra pu pra en re to ai ba ka min siem ka jong i ka ni ai ka siu ha ki jing mot jing khat jong i Haki donor ki jungi bangin long ki ban em like no haki ni kali ka be ka jungi the very outset i would like to take this opportunity to pay homage and express my great respect for this great leader a freedom fighter a patriot who had sacrificed his life for the people of his area as well as now of our state and i also would like to thank the organizing committee that has invited me to be here to be part of this very very important program friends as we observe the 188th death anniversary of uttarakhand sing what is important for all of us to remember is that not only are we observing the death anniversary but more importantly we are celebrating his life and on this very very solemn occasion i would like to tell the people especially the students who are gathered out here that as citizens of our state you need to know you need to learn what uttarakhand singh had done for our people you need to know the qualities that he possessed the values and the principles that he believed in the patriotism and the courage that he had this day would mean nothing if every single citizen of our state would not be able to learn these values these principles that uttarakhand singh had that is the real meaning of today's celebration i should say we are observing the death anniversary but we are celebrating his life we are celebrating his qualities we are celebrating how he had sacrificed himself for his people and i think that is the biggest message that i would like to give especially to the youngsters who are present out here today that even if we were to follow on few of the footsteps that this great leader had shown us i think we would be able to do a lot to contribute to our people and to our state i was just uh, speaking to our chief executive member of the kasi hills autonomous district council 
and we were discussing about documentation. You'll be happy to know that just about uh, a week or 10 days back, the Kasi Hills Autonomous District Council has taken a decision and has approached me to support them to do detailed analysis and detailed documentation into different historical facts about the Khasi culture, about important leaders in the past, about important customary practices that we do. And we realize that most of our history has not been documented in the way that it should be. I remember discussing with some of them about a report in the 1800 called the Herbert Report. And imagine the documentation from 1800 is still available with us. And hence, the documentation done during the British because they maintained the documentation so properly that it is still available with us today. But many of our own cultural practices, many of our own historical facts, many of the details about important leaders are not available with us. And hence, it poses a big challenge for overall information to see how systems were run and compare it and to how to improve it in the future. And hence, I am very happy that uh, today, on this very, very solemn occasion, I'll be requesting our chief executive member that while they start this entire huge exercise of documenting different historical facts about the Khasi culture, I would request and urge them that if a detailed study on Uturok Singh on different facts, I'm sure we have the basic facts with us. It's not that we don't have. But as much details as we can go into, I think it would be very, very beneficial for our future generation. Like the cave in Longclaw area where he stayed in, where he lived in, during the time when the British attacked. We have not been able to do enough to be able to find out the facts about those caves. The maintenance of it, the overall building up infrastructure in those areas, what discussions took place if we could find out? What kind of meetings took place? The pottery that is there, the stones that are there, what were they used for? I think the people of the state, especially our young children, would be greatly inspired if these facts were to come out in front of us. And hence I would urge that we need to do documentation not just on our great leaders like Uttarok Singh or Bhattogun Nengmanja and other leaders who are there, who were there, but overall about different cultural practices, historical facts of the people of our state. And I would like to also inform everybody that state government will be supporting the Kasi's Autonomous District Council and the other district councils also in their endeavor to ensure that these facts are brought out and these facts are maintained and documented properly, researched properly, so that the real details of the stories come out and the facts come out so that our youngsters, as I said especially, can take it forward and learn from 
those facts. At the same time, I'm very happy to inform you also that government of Meghalaya is focusing a lot on different aspects of the youth. We have programs like Yes Meghalaya, where we support different youth organizations. Whoever wants to, whichever organization wants to do different activities, the government of Meghalaya is giving financial support to different youth organizations. We have supported more than 2,000, 2,500 close to groups till now, and we hope that more and more groups will join us. At the same time, we have got a program called the Grassroots Meghalaya Grassroots Music Program. And now we plan to expand this Grassroots Music Program, which is a program where we support artists who are good at what they do, musicians. We support them by giving them financial assistance to perform in important locations, perform music, songs, so that they can entertain the tourists and at the same time they can earn a livelihood. So this grassroots music program was started in few districts. We will be expanding it to other districts also. But why I'm telling you this today is apart from the different sports and cultural programs that we are supporting through Yes Meghalaya and also the grassroots music program where we are supporting music, we have decided that we will also support different kind of theatre and different kind of plays. So tomorrow, if our youngsters through this grassroots program would like to not just perform songs, but perform a small skit or a play on Uturoxi, so that the tourists would come to know who these leaders were. I want to inform you through this platform today that government of Meghalaya will support you to make those different plays and skits and give you financial assistance to perform them in different important tourist locations be it in your district or be it any other part of the state. So we strongly feel that until unless these kind of cultural and these kind of important events, these kind of important people are not made a part of the young generation's life, we feel that we will not be doing justice to our culture, to our people and to our leaders who have been responsible for where we are today. They are responsible for creating that identity for us. And as we all know, as a society, at the end of the day, it is our identity that differentiates us from others. It is our culture that gives us our identity. It is different practices that we do that gives us our identity. It is these great leaders who have laid down their lives for us, who have given us our identity. We cannot forget that. And we need to ensure that we keep reminding ourselves about it. We need to ensure that we support our youth to come out with songs, come out with plays, come out with different competitions, talking about the contributions that were made by Chudak Singh, talking about what we have learned from his life, and how we would like to get these different qualities among our children. That is going to be a true tribute to a great leader. It's very good to have our statues and to have a program like this every year. It's very important. But a real tribute would be to live our lives on the footsteps that were taught by these great leaders. That is a real tribute to these leaders. And today, I would urge our youngsters to learn and to be able to take these qualities and make it part of your life. Qualities of patriotism, qualities of courage, qualities of management. 
Gujarat Singh was a great manager. Fighting the British is not easy. That also for many years. But with the limited resources and the limited weapons, how he managed to fight them? The different aspects of what we call today guerrilla warfare was already being practiced centuries ago by Uttarat Singh. A great general, a great leader, a great manager. Books come out of different leaders in different parts of the world talking about how their leadership quality was. I'm sure some of us can research and come out with books on how Uttarat Singh had come out with different aspects of war and strategy a long, long time back before uh, even these strategies started becoming you know, commercial and uh, some people started writing books on other leaders for practicing it today. So I feel that uh, we need to do that and I hope and I can assure you that full support will be given from the government side to ensure that we are able to do that. I also have received a memorandum today regarding the uh, improvement of the office out here uh, and uh, also to overall beautify this place uh, and uh, definitely uh, this would be something that I would be happy to do. So we will work out and we will definitely support you to ensure that we are able to improve the office uh, here of uh, the Himalayan ship that is there. We will definitely support that. And I've not been able to go into the details, but uh, I could see from outside that we need to. Uh,